I'm Katie. It is quarter past 12 on Thursday. I'm joined in the studio by Alex Hawari, who is the CEO of Media Quest. Now, first and foremost, hello, Alex. Hello. How are you? Good, very good. Thank good, you. Good, good. So, Media Quest, uh, to get this bit out of the way, your data content events company. Exactly. In the Middle East. But that's not what we're here to talk about. We're here to talk about the Effies, and more importantly, the Effies in the MENA region, because obviously it's a global thing. But I say obviously, what is the Effies? What are the Effies, Alex? So first, thank you very much for uh, hosting me. Of course. And uh, I think before I start, I, w- I wanted to just give a... I was just reading in the newspaper uh, the three rules to fake a French accent. Okay. <laughs> and uh, one was the, the glitter R. Uh, the TH, which is uh, the Z sound, and the H, which is always silent. So you're going to tell me if I do a perfect job on this. Your French accent is perfect. So I hope the audience will understand. It's better than my English accent. Oh, great. <laughs> so uh, what is if It's very simple. It's uh, It stands for effectiveness in marketing. So it's really about the idea that, uh, that works. And it's to recognize all forms of marketing that contribute to a brand success. Okay. So, but it, but it's different, isn't it? This is what we were just talking about off air. There are so many awards. Well, first of all, there's so many awards in the UAE. Yeah. There is an award for everything. I parked my car this morning. I won an award. Um, but there are, more importantly, there's so many awards for creativity. But the Effies is different. So, so why is it so different? So it's exactly that. So when we launched it, actually, it's, uh, it's exactly what you mentioned. There was mm. like so many words on creativity. And I think today you can have great piece of work in terms of uh, a nice ad but is it effective mm. and if and if he stands for the result it's really about uh, bringing an idea to life and having a result at the end of it yeah absolutely now the Effies is a global company it started in 1968 Correct. Uh, way back when but you brought it here 11 years ago why why was it so important to you to bring it to the MENA region so I think uh, today more than ever, you know, the, everything is transforming and everybody is looking for sales uh, results. Yes. So 11 years ago when we started, actually it was still a very small event. We used to have less than 500 people coming. Today we're more than 2,000 people coming wow. for the Coca-Cola Arena on the 6th of November. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's again, today is all about ROI, return on investment, Always. about the sales. And effectiveness is about that. And if you recognize that, Recognize the result, recognize the strategy, the challenge, the context, the objective, uh, the idea that goes to life and mainly the result. And 11 years ago, it was not that evident. Today, everybody is looking no. at that. And this is the main difference between us and the others. And why, but why is it, why is it important to this region? Particularly. I think today with what's happening in the region, mm. uh, you know, we and not to be too boring, you know, it used to be so easy to sell. Yeah, of course. Uh, very, I mean, yeah, you were just sitting on your seat and just doing some <laughs> sales. Today, it's really different uh, uh, life. Yeah. And you just need to go and see the client, uh, try to see their uh, their KPI and uh, manage their KPI. So I think it's, uh, it's a big difference. It's mm. a shift. And I think this is, you know, the region. I think it's not about like we're everybody saying like it's in crisis. I think today Europe have been living in this for the last 20 years Mm -hmm. and they're managing properly. I think the region will manage it. I think also it's about the talent. It's about the effectiveness. There was an interesting article in the paper uh, recently about uh, people saying there's no talent in the region and they have to bring They're having to bring in talent from overseas. And that's just not true. There is so much talent and creative talent right here in the MENA region. There is, but I think still there is a bit of a, like I think still I think the government has to do much more on the education part uh, I think still there is not like big university that uh, managed to come here and managed to attract the people I think still people wants to go outside I think it's Interesting. Uh, it's a bit of pity on this one Yeah. but I think yeah there is still some very good talent in the region but I think I think we should do much more okay. uh, I think it's all about the talent oh that's interesting okay well listen I'm going to play a quick song but when we come back I want to talk to you about a few of the actual marketing campaigns that really stand stand out because I'm sure um, you could be listening right now in your car or at home or in the office and just think, well, hang on, are there any campaigns that I would know about and what does this award-winning campaign mean to me? So, Alex, stay where you are. going to play five seconds of summer and we'll have a chat in a bit. Now, this is um, just around the corner, November the 6th. It's going to be at the incredible Coca-Cola Arena. And it's all about creativity and marketing campaigns and stuff. Now, that can sound potentially quite boring if you don't know, but marketing affects us every single day, doesn't it? And we don't know it. And that's the clever ones. Um, Alex, I was asking what kind of campaigns 
have really, you know, stood out for you over the years, the 11 years that we've been doing the FEs in the MENA region? So there was a lot of local campaign, but not to put, uh, to create jealousy between the different clients. Of course. I will just mention uh, one campaign that I've seen uh, that happened in New York, uh, which was about the co- uh, Corona, uh, the beer, which was uh, how the moon helped uh, Corona find its beach in New York. Okay. And uh, the execution was perfect. The, the effectiveness of the idea was excellent because they use a billboard and a little help uh, from the moon, they created the Luna Corona, whereby the crescent lunar moon become the lime of the Corona bottle. Very clever. And you know how clever it is? Yeah. And ju- you know, it's just a small execution with mm. a billboard and they managed to raise their sale, I think like 15% was just this execution. It's and amazing. this is about effectiveness. And that's the thing. And it's, I hate to use this expression. Please don't. Thinking outside of the box, which is an awful expression, but... It's, it's so needed sometimes, isn't it? You, um, you hear so many times and so many things. So I, I love the fact that on November the 6th at the Effies, we're going to see so much because I know your judging process went on for days and days because the entrance you have is phenomenal. How yeah. many did you have this year? So we have uh, more than 1,000 entries and it's exactly what you said. It's today that they have to do a paper, yeah. uh, which is like almost seven page of writing about the challenge, the yeah. result. Uh, the strategic you have a small video and yeah the judges goes for the first round is like six days of judging more than 150 judges second round is another 150 judges that will be also selecting the the gold the silver and the bronze and the grand prix and it's take, it's also on two days so it's just an incredible piece of work that yeah. clients and agency are putting together absolutely i'm really excited for it if you want to follow along and you're interested uh, especially about the marketing in the region and the, you know these awards are all about creativity head online to instagram follow them at mina effi that's e f f i e alex thank you so much good luck for november the 6th for the effies at the coca cola arena thank you very much and seeing you on the 6th yeah see you on the 6th